if I cannot react to One Piece episodes on stream and on YouTube, I'm gonna watch and react to people who talk about it. Yes. Yes, last chance to watch One Piece according to the daily. Mm. Mm. Yes. After over two decades, One Piece is finally entering its final saga. In 2024, my Oh, is it the final saga already? It's too late. And I already know what you're going to say. It's too long. I don't have enough time. The anime is so old and outdated. Dude, all those things are true. It is old. It's so long. And when you start watching from the very beginning, you will quickly notice that, yes, it is outdated. But also, once you start, you can never stop. Holy shit. It's amazing. Because I recently started watching it again from the very beginning. My goodness, I cannot get enough. Oh, I'm gonna lose sleep over watching Wafa Isa. Huh? And honestly, you're right. The series is yes. pretty long. I mean, it spans it is. two decades and has over a two decades at the time of recording this video. I'm not turning on that shit. And nobody that's a true fan of the series is going to deny that the early episodes are really outdated. I mean, there are some episodes that were released when people still thought that the world was going to end during Y2K. However, the Holy reason shit. why One Piece is so highly regarded and has so many people that vouch for its quality despite these very real barriers mm -hmm. for entry. And Dude, One Piece always makes me cry. Oh my god. It's entering the final saga. Oh, are we ready? I'm not ready yet. I'm so far away. It's so funny because this guy, Yusuf's dad, his character design, he has his name on his forehead. Oh my god. Trust me, I understand the hesitancy. I mean, look at this text between me and my girlfriend before I started watching the show, where I outright say, fuck One Piece, I will never watch that shit. And well, now look at me. Converted to the <laughs> church of the straw hat. It's Anyways, not a fault. I'd like to say that One Piece is one of those things that if you can overcome the intimidating backlog and go into it with a mindset of enjoying the experience instead of spamming episodes mm -hmm, trying to catch I up, agree. then it's no longer this beast of a backlog that you're trying to speedrun. Dude, I'm still speedrunning it. I'm still spamming episodes. But at the same time, when I don't like an arc, especially that one I was talking about earlier, the ringling long arc with the long animals, you just skip it. Or you just, I mean, there is the One Piece wiki, so you could probably just skip the filler episodes if you just wanna watch the meat, you know, the meat. Mm. Either way, I feel like it's very entertaining for sure. I know. Do I, can I say I'm speedrunning it now, really? Because I still watch the the episodes. I still watch every single minute of the episodes that interest me. Except for that stupid arc. <laughs> that <laughs> ringling arc. Hmm. And I wish I knew that before I speed ran the entire backlog and spammed episodes in an attempt to catch up. There's a common saying that fans of the series will spread, and it goes something like this. There are too many episodes until there aren't enough. And it's true. By the too many episodes you until up, there aren't the enough. Thing you could possibly want is another thousand episodes of these pirates that you've grown so close to, as parasocial as that sounds. I genuinely yes. have so much love for this series, and what I have more than love is belief. Belief mm -hmm. that this is one of the best stories ever told, and belief that One Piece truly has something for everybody. After hmm. I, I don't really think about it that way, that it's gonna be the best story that's ever told or it's gonna be the one the one piece <laughs> because even if like the ending is not like as monumental as people would expect i mean i still have high hopes for how it's gonna unfold how it's gonna tell the story but even if it's like the best if it's not the best anime ever there's a lot of good arcs already so far from what i watched and i've only watched until ennis lobby so who am i kidding i already am enjoying the ride i'm already enjoying everything i've seen so far <laughs> maybe it's just sunken cost fallacy you know when you spend too much time on something it, it you value it more but at the same time i mean i wouldn't continue watching if it if it's bad like right now it's more than 300 episodes already and usually i don't watch an anime for more than like for more than 10 episodes 
if I don't like it. So there's that. It has something for everybody. Uh, I guess. Let's see. I should stop pausing. I'll just watch this. Uh, just watch the video, okay? After I caught up, I even got my girlfriend to watch the series over with me, and she's now caught up and just as involved in the series as I am. There are hundreds of reasons of why to catch up, and everyone has their own that they think is the magic solution to get people to watch. But with how truly special and specific everyone's One Piece journey is, I think that a huge part of the beauty is that you get to forge your own reason. Whether a specific- Your own reason, yes! Or a side character steals the show and becomes someone who's just as important as the main cast, or a certain moment at a point that serves as a monument to your own life but that's mm, i uh, started watching it again because i thought it's about time i watch it because i've been putting it off for so long and if i put it off another year or so i'm probably never gonna watch it <laughs> and also as i mentioned before i was intrigued by the gear 5 because i saw Gear 5 Luffy, and I also saw Yamato. I was so curious. It's like, who is Yamato? I need to know the context behind all this. And so I started watching it again. And also, it's very nostalgic, because I started watching it when I was in high school, and I'm like, hmm, I need more adventure. I just finished watching Dungeon Meshi before I started watching One Piece, and I'm like, man, Dungeon Meshi is over already. I know there's gonna be a second season, but I'm like, I need more adventure. And you know what? You know what more adventure? You know what anime has a lot, a lot of adventure? One Piece. There's so much. So, I'm gonna be satisfied for a while. I have a lot of stuff to watch for a while. That's what I thought. Hmm. Yes. what this video is about. This video is about why your time is running out and why that window is closing day by day to create your own story and be a part of one of the biggest cultural events in recent history. Firstly, let's talk about why it's so important that you start catching up as soon as possible. When you think of some of the biggest spoilers in existence, things like Darth Vader being Luke's father immediately come to my mind. I genuinely believe that when the One Doggy. Piece is finally revealed, it will be one of the biggest potential spoilers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Over two that's true. decades of stories, arcs, plot lines. The spoilers all are gonna be one crazy. Of the reveals in anime history and potentially even fiction as a whole. After the reveal happens, watching One Piece will never be the same. Being able to just go on google and search up what the one piece is dude most of the stuff that he showed here i have no idea what they are i don't want to google what the one piece is oh no i'm so scared well, don't tell me what the one piece is make of watching the show for everybody going flying through. dutchman and that's not even mentioning the massive mm. amount of internet trolls that will be flooding twitter tiktok and youtube comments spoiling mm. what the one piece mm. is with unhinged levels of dedication i instantly think back to when star wars the force awakens was released dude Okay, 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 okay. I have to say this right away because this is gonna be a YouTube video. If you spoil anything in the comment section, mm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, I'm gonna be upset if you say anything spoiling anything in the comment section. I just finished Ennis Lobby. If you talk about anything beyond Ennis Lobby, oh, bro, bro, I'm trying to catch up. Okay, mm, no spoilers and Han Solo's death became a meme that was flooded everywhere online within a matter of days, revealing one of the biggest plot points of the movie franchise that dates back to the 70s. If I had to describe One Piece in one word, that word would be adventure. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, adventure! I love adventure! Adventure. Huh? Luffy's adventure to be specific. Yes! He as he goes from a 17-year-old kid with dreams of becoming a king to being a powerful captain with a crew to match. Now, what fun would an adventure be if you knew the destination or how the journey ends? It's all about the adventure it's all about the friendship adventure, and the adventure exactly how to get and the journey how long it's gonna take and what to expect when you do get there same goes for one piece from the very start we knew that luffy was gonna become the pirate king and find the one piece and everything else that comes along with it but one piece is never about the result and almost always about the how how is luffy going to do it how is he going to yes how is he going to achieve his dreams and in a perfect dude this is why i cannot stop watching it because i want to know how they defeat the certain enemies that are being shown it's like okay so they are presented with these strong ass enemies they're presented with this problem they're presented with the, all of these challenges and i'm like hmm how is this gonna unfold huh it's amazing 
Is Luffy going to do it? How is he going to get there? And how is he going to be very addicting? And in a perfect world, nobody would ever be spoiled. You would be able to experience the series in its entirety from start to finish. But unfortunately, <laughs> that's not the world we live in. I don't say all this to spread doom and gloom or to share a sentiment that the series will be ruined once the One Piece does get revealed. I do, however, say it in hopes that you will get to experience the show without the fear of being spoiled. And even more so, which leads us into our next point. Being able to share that experience with the millions that are right by your side for the big reveal. While I know that One Piece the big is reveal. the same level of Western relevance. The big reveal is the One Piece is Oda's swimsuit. The One Piece is Oda's swimsuit and his bathwater. Nah, probably not. I keep saying that stupid joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Princess, say Star Wars or even other anime, it's impossible to ignore the show's surging popularity. With the live action adaptation becoming Netflix's most watched series of 2023, an anime remake in production, and the overall <gasps> growing it is real. Oh, it's real. They're gonna have an anime remake. Oh my god, that would be interesting. I hope they don't drag it on for so long. Like, I hope they don't drag the episodes for that long because, god damn. It's uh, the pacing is quite slow. <laughs> the first episodes, the pacing is very slow. I hope they uh, they find a way to tell the story in a reasonable pace with with a remaster of the One Piece. Hmm that One Piece is growing now more than ever. It's undeniable that by the time the One Piece is revealed, it will be a massive cultural event. Videos and memes are gonna start flooding the internet, and for those that have been around for multiple major series events, they will be the first to tell you how truly memorable it is to share that experience with One Piece fans all over. Ooh, hey! The series at chapter 1045, one chapter after the big reveal of the Wano arc. And after I caught up, the only thing I could think about was, wow, I wish I was able to experience that reveal with everybody else. Being able to talk to your friends, go on Twitter, and watch reactions on YouTube and TikTok is such an underrated part of the One Piece experience. It's so much more than just reading or watching because the One Piece community is so vast and there's constantly new videos, reactions, and theories alongside every single new chapter. Being able to be a part of the community when these reveals happen oh, is such yeah. a massive part of being- I missed on that fan. one. I missed out on that. Unmatched. And when you find another One Piece fan in the wild, you instantly have something to talk about. Every this is why I I wanna talk about like um what I just watched. Cause I mean aside from the aside from the idea that I wanna like sort of keep in mind what actually happened. Not memorize, but to keep track of what happened. I want to talk about it and then also i want to tell people like where i am in the story you see i kind of want to be part of the community as well but also i don't want to i don't want to watch too much i don't want to read into like stuff beyond what i know because I, i'm scared of spoilers of course i just want to share like where i am in the anime. I want to share my journey as well. Oh, I missed out on that one. Like every time a new chapter is released, of course people talk about it. And I didn't pay attention to it before. Hmm. It's a good experience nonetheless. Somebody in public that also watches or reads One Piece, it always turns into a discussion about our favorite characters, where do we think the story is going, and our reaction to the most recent chapters. And every time, it makes me grow so much fonder of the series. You have the opportunity right now to become a part of that same amazing community before it even hits its peak. You'll be able to experience these huge moments alongside all of us. I don't say this lightly, but this truly is a once in a lifetime monumental moment that's once in a lifetime. I hope that this video can convinces some people to finally take the leap so that they can be right there with us screaming crying and throwing up oh, Dr. Dr. it's finally time to learn the secrets that the series holds at the current place in the story we have entered the final saga 
Oda has confirmed that the series has about three to five more years left until its completion. Oh. With Oda's track record, that estimation is fluid to say the least. Three but to for five a series years. Spanning hmm. over the course of 20 plus years, what's three to five more? The most recent arc lasted four years by itself, so three to five years to cover the entirety of the final saga is on the shorter side in terms of One Piece. If you were to start now, you would easily have plenty of time to catch up in a timely manner and be able to experience the yes. deals alongside everybody without the fear of spoilers. Now, when it comes to actually catching up, One Piece has truly never been more accessible. I mean, the first 400 episodes are on Netflix if you're in America. Hello, my gata. I'm sure you can find a friend that has a completely legal and ethical website that has the entire series for free. If reading is more your thing, you can download the Viz app and for like two bucks a month, you can read the entire series at your own pace. Ooh, there are dragon. pros and cons to each method, and I'm honestly tempted to cover all the ways to catch up to One Piece as there's- Here's the thing. Um, anime versus manga. Um, it's gonna take longer to catch up with the anime just because you cannot watch something faster. You could watch it faster, of course, you just speed it up. But also, what I mean to say is when you read, you can read faster, but you cannot watch faster. It's, it's easier to skim through chapters and get a rough idea of what's going on as opposed to watching an anime and then like speed running through it i mean you kind of could you just like browse through what's going on in a specific episode but also i don't know you know what i mean you know what i mean it's not the experience though you, you gotta experience the episode as it naturally is i say that but also i kind of skip the recap at the very beginning <laughs> and i also skip the outro like the what you need to look forward to in the next episode hmm so many ways to watch read and enjoy the series i am fully aware of how intimidating it can be but the clock is ticking and soon it is intimidating that's true it's gonna be gone and you're gonna have to fight for your life to experience a series without being spoiled by a 14 year old on twitter giggling in his dx racer i tried to keep this video short and sweet because if one piece was too long for someone there's no way that they're gonna watch a 30 minute breakdown of every single reason to watch one piece and i wanted to highlight some of the reasons outside of show is good to watch one piece is truly something special adventure has made such a huge impact on myself and so many people that i know even if this video gets one more person to catch up to one piece that would be enough for me if you've made it to this point in the video consider dropping a sub to the channel as my Dude. resolution is to hit 200 subs it's a pretty big goal and i'm not sure if we can reach it but i'm gonna try anyways drop a like and share this video to your friends that haven't started one piece to let them know that their time is running out thank you again for watching and i will see you guys next time Dude. Yes, I am watching One Piece. Don't worry, Zelly. I am watching One Piece. It's amazing. Holy moly! Very start. We knew that Luke. Holy moly! What a ride! I cannot wait to watch more. And oh, I'm gonna be crying when it's over as well. <laughs> dude there's multiple times so far in the anime already that i cried because of uh, of the friendship of the sadness of the happiness of the kindness well mm, i mostly cry when there's a lot of kindness going on for the crewmates or for any other character or for or for any new uh, person that they introduced and there's so much kindness and then that kindness is taken away that's the thing that makes me cry the most in this in this show when there's so much kindness there's so much good stuff and then it's taken away by something and i'm like ah no ah, that's what that's what gets me hmm. dude one piece is amazing I'm gonna watch some more for sure. For sure, for sure. I'm very deep in this rabbit hole and I'm not getting out soon. Mmm. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what it is. Become a member. Ah. Yum yum. Yum out. Yes. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song. <laughs>